Hello everyone, here is Nathan Cavalcante from São Paulo, Brazil. Today I'm going to show you how to activate a new language over SAP. Uh, the main idea is, let's just say we have a company that is established on New York, USA. And this company has another company in the same group in Brazil or Mexico or another part of the world. So as we know, SAP is, is a multi-language software. So the idea is what I, what I have to do in order to activate a new language. That's the idea. Uh, so I'm going to show you how to do that, okay? So first of all, you have to go to transaction code R R RZ10. This is a basis uh, transaction code, okay? Uh, the idea is exactly to clear the doubt. So you have to find here an instance profile. So you must know which one is. And here we have the version. I am on version 5. This is now activated. We must go on basic maintenance and change. Okay? So try not change anything over here because we are talking about languages. And here we have memory. Okay? Uh, so go over a language. As you can see over here, my proposal language for this system is in Portuguese. And on your left side, languages that can be installed. So you have Chinese, you have English already activated, German, Portuguese. So for this test, I will activate the Spanish language. So where is it here? Okay. So before I do that, I just try to log on in Spanish and you're gonna see which error SAP will provide. Uh, I'm logged right now in, okay. So that means select, uh, selection language that is installed. So Spanish is not installed, not saved. Okay, and I just save. Do you want to activate the profile now? Yes. When you do that, you have the version 6. Okay? Alright. Uh, if I try to log on over again, It will not be possible, still will not be possible to log on because you must do a task before that. You must have access to SAP server. As I'm doing right now. You must stop the instance. Be careful when you do that. Let's just say you have another users that are working. So if you do that, you just stop what they are doing. So be careful when you are going to do that. I'm stopping it right now because I'm alone. It is it is environment. Nobody's over here. So let's wait until it will get white color or gray color as we can see right now uh, this is a message that says SAP is out okay and we are going to start over again the server SAP server it gets yellow after that it will get green when it gets green, we are good to go and test over again. Now that it's green, we can try to log on again. 
and see if it works. If it works. Okay. So now, as you can see, we are using SAP in Spanish language. Okay. So that's it today. Very quick. Uh, very simple. Just be careful when you do that, and do not forget you must have access to SAP server in order to stop the instance and start over again. Okay. Thank you very much for watching, and see you next time.